everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA, and I'm enjoying this glorious day. It's a beautiful rainy day in Southern California. It's actually one of the first storms of 2019. This is January. Anyway, a rare event is happening, and so we had the faith, we were waiting, and sure enough, the rain came. And so I wanna show you something. On my roof in the backyard, I've got the solar power up there. It's just gigantic solar power system. It's actually getting clean from the rain. Now what's happening to all this water, this beautiful rainwater, is it's actually diverted into this uh, gutter and it goes down the pipe, goes down, down, down. It goes into this rain catchment. It's 50 gallons. That's not much though. And so what I did a few years ago was I actually converted my swimming pool into a big huge tank. I'm stepping on a 5,000 gallon rainwater harvesting tank. So the water goes from the roof and it also goes from the house too. And it travels down underneath, in, under the ground. And check this out. Look at how full this is. It's I'd say another, we're expecting more rain the next couple days. Uh, that's more than halfway. We're gonna have over 5,000 gallons of rainwater. Now, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna draw that out of there? Do I have, uh, is, it, that's just a, a well to get, give an indication of how much water there actually is. So I'd say there's about 3,500 gallons of water. How do we draw it out? Over here, I have what's called a rainwater harvesting pump. So this little tiny pump turns on when the valve, uh, the, I have a timer inside the garage. So when the timer says, turn on, this valve puts a request for water and it sucks water out with that pump and it pushes it into drip irrigation. Um, I also have another above ground just because I'm greedy. I like to save rainwater. So you just can never save enough. So over here I have a green tank. This actually has gotten filled up, but this is above ground and uh, I press the little button here and um, it goes on and so now I actually have above ground rainwater so it's not gravity fed. So uh, pumps are really the way to go if you're going to do rainwater harvesting. Um, whoops. And that's it. Uh, you want to make sure there's a first flush diverter on your system but it's really easy to do. This is not impossible and this is what we need to be doing to make a more regenerative future. And then once it's regenerative, once it's healed, we need to make it sustainable. Mike with Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability and regeneration, think Enviroscape LA.